in, I'm gonna get you clipped in, turn it around, back for me, and you are ready. <laughs> nice. Dang, All right. Sure, it's gonna be something else, isn't it? What's up, 7 8 Steak and Lincoln here. So, as you guys know, I'm doing some upgrades to my uh, to my stereo. There's my uh, second battery. If you've ever, if you've never seen it before. <sighs> Got some six by nines up here uh, sticking out the package tray i haven't removed that additional uh juice that you kind of see hanging there and then i'm going to put what they call uh baffles on those are jbls by the way they're jbl gtos they sound really good these things right here so these are going to get glued and stuffed with stuffing i'm going to show you how that goes down these are called baffles they're going to act like speaker boxes and it'll also cut down on the excursion that's caused by having the 15-inch uh, subs back here. So hang tight, I'll show you how it's done. We're going to take this uh, glue gun right here, and we're going to shoot everything with glue, including the, the bottom of the speaker. All right, fellas, let me show you what I've done so far. I'll show you underneath the package tray first. For this, I've got to climb in the trunk. <laughs> so you see, I've applied glue all around the speakers not well, on the speakers but all around the speakers and then i'm going to put the baffles over the speakers and you won't see that glue once i'm done and then that's gonna act like a box for the six behinds and make them sound that much better so it's gonna be pretty sweet let me go show you the baffles now <clears throat> Ugh, this is getting a good workout. 45 years old. <sighs> really need to be doing stuff like this. You know, I'm on a computer all day at my job. I'm a business intelligence analyst. But there you go. There's the baffles. I've got the contact cement uh, on there. So, you know, you saw the glue gun a little bit earlier right here. Check out that little Fiat. Pretty cool. Or is it? Is it a? It's a midget, right? Who makes that? Who makes a midget? Huh? I don't know. But it's a pretty cool little car. Triumph. There you go. There you go. Nice old vet. Uh, I know the owner of this one personally. It's got a 383 stroker in it. Hello. Not your typical 80s vet. <laughs> it's uh, scary. It's uh, it's too fast. <laughs> Look at that. I think it's just so sweet. Yep. Good looking 80s car. Yep. Look at that. Old Delta 88. I wonder what year this is. Oh, beautiful dash. Look at that. Definitely not the stock radio, though, but it was a, a top of the line audio boxer back in the day. That is just a cool looking cockpit style dash. Looks like it's getting new carpet, new top. 442. Right? No, it's not a 442. Sorry. Sorry, discount. Nope, out of 442. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yep. Hmm. 455, so I guess it is. Hmm. Interesting. 
can get a better view of that. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm just waiting for the glue to dry. I'm trying to burn up a little bit of time. A little Mazda Miata. I know, I mean, I mean, these are fun, reliable little cars. I don't care what you say. These little MX-5s, I would definitely drive one. Just, I just would not want to be in to an accident. But, oh, nice little Jeep. Oh, one of my favorite vehicles, the Ford Ranger. Right, Tommy Casey? Man, that brings back some memories. Yeah. Sold a lot of steaks out of these, man. These were the these were nice work trucks back in the day. They were always the nicest between the Chevys for the base trucks. You know, for what the normal people had to drive. They're always the nicest. Like cruise control. Even, you know, just decent sound and factory radio. Comfortable seats. Always had comfortable seats. This one has extremely comfortable seats. You know, I wouldn't mind getting one of these. Let's get rid of my F-150. There's so many noises here. It creeps you out from time to time. Yeah, pretty cool. And okay, let's we'll take our glue. Yeah, this is a beautiful truck. Hmm. Brings back memories. I want even this color too. That was the other thing too. They Ford has some nice colors. Look at that. That is a pretty Ford Ranger. Man. Yeah. Yep. That really is. Look at that, guys. Very, very well preserved, man. That was a nice blend of chrome, too. Uh, they changed it up pretty drastically a couple years after this. And that's a pretty nice looking front end. The truck. Boat. Golf carts. Okay, let's take a look at our baffles. They're still drying. You want to make sure everything's nice and dry. Anyways, I'll check back in. Well, there you go. So by now you should be getting a pretty good idea how the concept works. It creates an artificial, an artificial, you know, back end just for that speaker to fire off of. Um, it really does help improve the sound tremendously. Gives you just, uh, gives you just that depth that you need. But anyways, that's what it's look, looking like. We're just about to put them in. I've got them stuffed. The glue's ready to go. Anyways, I'll show you a video after I've got them stuck up in there. You can see now the glue. Oh, with me. Oh, oh. Oh, glue is dry now. Let's see how well you can get it. So it looks like up close. Let's contact some Let me show you what the bottle looks like. Check it out. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. That's us magic. What you use, you know, for foam, you use on headliners. Yep. Okay. I'll check back in in a minute. Thing around the back side. There we go. The two I just did.
spare back in there. I just wanted to make sure I didn't damage anything doing so. I kind of pushed it. I know it made contact. Oh, we got it. Now you can't really tell, but it sits just on top of the speaker. That one is perfect. Okay. Good deal. Let me put it back in.